Hi, this is Stephanie Kwame from the CAD Academy, and we are going to go over SolidWorks tutorial number three from our series. There are some uh, really important items that you learn from going through this tutorial, and I'm going to go ahead and start with a new sheet of paper. I have made uh, templates, and I this is a metric drawing, so I can go to my metric template. There is a video and an exercise to learn how to make templates, which is an important thing. And this is a two-part assembly. So we're going to go ahead and go to Sketch, and this starts with a uh, rectangle on the top plane. And as usual, I am going to rotate to the top plane. Now, one thing that I like about this, it has a, an interesting uh, way of inputting. And we choose a re rectangle with a center. And that way, we can come on to this user coordinate system and make our rectangle, and that is a center. And that helps us line up the parts in, in further on. So that becomes an important reference. We're going to go ahead and smart dimension these as per the exercise. This is 300. Green check OK. And this is 150. Green, whoops, is 150. Green check OK. And I'm going to do F to fit the screen. So now we have the beginning of, of our part, and we're going to go ahead and extrude it. So let's go into Features and do an extrusion. And it's interesting, the screen automatically rotates into position. The extrusion value is 20. So let's go ahead and put 20 in there and green check OK that. The next item we want to do is we want to fill at the corners. And this becomes those little magnetic plates. So we're going to go over here to the uh, fillet. And fillet value is 10 millimeters, so that looks very good. So I'm going to select the geometry I want to fill it. And we are done. Big check OK. So they have a different way also of positioning the holes, and I like this, and it comes from using that rectangle center, and it's important to do this or else the rest of the exercise gets very, very difficult. It gets almost impossible. So I'm going to rotate to the top, and let's go again back to sketch and do a rectangle, and um, the ra we're going to put it on top of this. That's what it was saying. Where is it going? And we're going to do that center again. So we're going to head over to this UCS and put in a rectangle. doesn't matter what size because we use Smart Dimension and make it the size we want. It's parametric technology, which means you change this dimension and it changes the geometry. It's wonderful. OK, we'll go over here and change this to be 100. And now we have set this up so that we can put in some holes. So let's go ahead and close this and exit exit the sketch and go into Features and go to the Hole Wizard. Usually a wizard is wonderful because a wizard uh, allows you to quickly do something that's difficult. So by answering a few of these questions, we want ISO standards, which is, is right. We want uh, it to be a drill size, and this is a diameter of, of uh, 17 we want it through all. So we go ahead and select that and everything looks good there. So now we want to <clears throat> do a p do the position. And so we're going to go ahead and select the face. Actually, we do a 3D sketch is the way it makes it easier. There we go. That 3D sketch is important or else you get frustrated and put holes all over the place and, wonder, and you can't get rid of them because they belong together. We're going to say OK. And now we have our lovely plate coming along pretty good. Looks very nice. As a matter of fact, now we're ready to save this and go on for the second part. And there's more of these that you do, but we're just going to uh, do one for this example. I'm going to go ahead and save this as my plate. I call everything plates, so I've had another one before. Whoops, it must be open. Plate one. There you go. 
It's important to save, and of course SolidWorks doesn't let you continue on if you don't save, which is a, a very nice thing as well. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, produce the second drawing. So we just need to do a go to the sheet of paper. We're going to do a metric. We're going to say OK. And this one is in the front plane. And uh, we are going to make a, a pull, or a pulley, I think is what it is, or a crane, a crane hook, sorry. <laughs> so let's go ahead. It's good to know what you're making. So let's go ahead to sketch. And this, again, is going to be in the front plane. And again, what's more, it's going to be important for us to acknowledge and use that center uh, UCS or use the UCS when drawing. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up a center line, change this to a center line. And I'm going to start here and head up. doesn't matter what size because we fix it later. I'm going to right click and select to end that. And then we're going to take a circle, put it on the end of this. And it really doesn't matter what size because, again, we are going to uh, position that and make it nice. Now I'm going to draw some lines. And this line is going to go from a tangency here down. It's wonderful to come over here, get that little spot there, get that alignment. We know we're lined up, so we say select that and pick there, and we right click and select. Looks like a really easy thing to mirror to me. So let's go up here and see if we can't find mirror. Here we are. So it says, What entities to mirror will we want to entity this one, that entity, and that entity? And we want to mirror it about our center line. That looks fabulous say a okay now let's do a little trimming so we want to do some trimming and we want to trim to the closest so we blow that away and blow that away and we're coming right along now we want to make sure with smart dimensioning that this is a specific radius because we can just draw it any way we want, but it should really be a radius with a diameter of uh, 25, or it's a uh, it's a radius of 25. And then <clears throat> we want to smart dimension this to 260. And we'll fit that so we can see what it's looking like. And then we definitely want this distance between this center point and this line over here to be 75. And then the geometry is perfect. So this is the, um, we want one more little thing. We're going to put in a circle here. So let's grab a circle, put it in that center point. We're going to smart dimension that. And the radius of this circle is 24. I think they make things difficult for us. OK, there we go. Now we are ready to go ahead and um, extrude. So we're done here. Say OK. Go. You can exit the sketch. Go to Features. Actually, if I hadn't done that, I should have kept them all selected and gone from there to the whoops let's let's go back one there we go let's go to features and let's do extrude and you can see it extrudes everything we want to make sure though there's one change here and this uh, allows us to line up th the geometry when we need to so we can go from the mid plane and the thickness is a change it's 20 millimeters we're coming along, we're getting ready for the big stuff, and we like it. We like it very much, so we're going to save this as our little hook. It's a crane hook. I work with a touchpad, so sometimes I get crazy stuff. Come, I did it again. I get crazy things I just want to get save. <laughs> Sorry. We'll call this a crane and save it. 
Okay, so now we're ready to make our uh, assembly. This is exciting. If you've never made an assembly before, it's really easy. And uh, you can make, uh, it, you're just limited by memory and capacity, really, as to the size of an assembly. So let's go ahead to our sheet of paper. And we're going to go to assembly. Big OK for that. And we see over here plate 1, which is our plate. And we like that. Now let's go ahead and insert a component. And let's a, a insert our crane. And she comes in there. And now, lining this up, this becomes a real trick. And it really doesn't need to be a trick if you have done everything like uh, you should. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and select this plane right now and then rotate my um, part up into a view so I can work with that as well. And so what we're going to do is we're going to mate. And we're going to do a concentric mate with that face I selected before and this face here. And notice it just uh, goes down and it uh, basically aligns that perfectly. Okay, let's go up here and give us a 3D view. I love 3D views. Okay, now it's not in the center. And that is a problem. So we are going to, if we had uh, not had this with a little minus, we could have seen a plus, and then you open this up, and then you can see your your items that are in here. And if I hit a little plus by that, I can see. So this is actually a series of things that we've done with these parts. So we're still in mate. We've got a clean selection set. We're going to go from front down there to front here. And that moves it into, I think, the center position. And then the next thing we're going to do is right to right. So we're going to say OK for that. And then now we're going to go right to right and say OK. And so you can see that if you actually uh, you know, just went exactly with the directions and used that really cool way to make a rectangle center. This would have worked out very, very well for you. And uh, now, one more little thing. It has a weld in it. And the welding, or the weld, is just a little bit different with this uh, version. It's updated and it's easier. So if I go into a weld bead, and we're going to close that because we have too much information there. So you can see you have a weld path, and I think the weld is 5. But the weld path will be this, and we can still, we're just going to pick what we, we can see for right now. And then we can define that weld symbol. And actually, we have a 5, and that's good. But what happens is you can actually do uh, that this is convex that the finishing method is, uh, who knows, machining. And uh, so you can put in material conditions uh, with this or the condition of this weld here as well uh, when you uh, put this in. And we'll say, OK. And there we've got our little weld symbol there, too. And you can't hardly see it. You can actually move that uh, as well. But so it's a little bit easier to uh, put in a weld uh, with this version than it was with the last. But anyway, hopefully that helps you. But the key to this, making this uh, particular part, is doing the center rectangle and the middle of uh, the hook to make sure that the alignment is correct. If you have any questions, uh, you can uh, send me an email, stephanie at the cadstore.com. Uh, or uh, you can actually, um, that's the best way to get a hold of me. Thank you so much for listening. I hope uh, you, I hope you learned something. <laughs>